Hello, church family. I want to take a few minutes to just uh, continue to encourage you with Isaiah 32, verse 8. Isaiah 32, verse 8 says that he who is noble plans noble things, and on noble things he stands. And last week I encouraged you in reference to thinking about what are those noble things. I encourage you to uh, begin to really develop a plan for your life, uh, particularly as it relates to going back into a new way of life as we uh, hopefully move out of some of the uh, precautions that we are taking, though they are needed. And so uh, I want to encourage you to, to as, as we move forward, uh, to really plan what your life is going to look like. Uh, plan for noble things. And so over this next week, I want to share just a few things with you that um, will encourage you towards uh, things that are noble. And so uh, one of those noble things is family. And I want to encourage you, for those of you who are married, uh, I want to encourage you to really invest in your spouse, uh, build up your relationship with your spouse, really see yourselves as partners, as teammates, um, as friends, as lovers, um, always be as easily accessible uh, to one another as possible to, uh, to have that shoulder to lean on, uh, to be that kind of person who's that cheerleader for the other one. And, uh, and so I wanna encourage you in your marriage as it relates to a noble thing of family. Uh, for some of you, you have uh, children, particularly younger children, and I wanna pray uh, and just kind of encourage uh, you uh, that have children to, uh, to think about the importance of proper discipline, of right and proper discipline. Uh, our children uh, will understand rightly from us how to respond to authority and God particularly being of the highest of authority. And so discipline is an important thing uh, to plan and to work on as parents uh, with your children in the days to come. Uh, I want to encourage you also to teach them how to be good decision makers. Uh, teach them how to manage their time. Uh, teach them that love is not performance-based. And would you most especially, would you train them in the Word of God? Help, help them to be in the Word and learn how to read the Word uh, for themselves. One other thing that I would encourage you with, not only about marriage and children, but I would encourage you to think about your parents. For many of us, our parents are still living, and we do have a responsibility to care for them. For some of us, our parents are in close proximity. For others, like myself, my parents are a long ways off. And so, really think about and really plan towards in these coming days, how will you care for your parents, for those who still have parents who are living as our parents are growing older and, uh, and entering into some uh, new phases in their life? How can you be of support and help to them uh, in these days to come? And so church, I want you really thinking about your family. I want you really taking some time to pray about your family. I want you to reflect on your marriage relationship. I want you to reflect on your leadership uh, to your children. And, and I want you to think about your care for your parents. And so uh, in these days to come, let me just encourage you that one of the areas that you need to really think towards and plan towards is the aspect of your family. Ask God to teach you Ask God to show you one thing that he wants you to do in the days to come to really lead your family, to nurture your family, to care for your family in a way that is pleasing to God, in a way that could be described as a noble thing.